Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. And now we will make this effect. How many people can say that? How many people can say that? If you're looking for liquid shapes and flash animations, check these guys from aejuice.com. They already gives you opportunity to download free starter pack, but also they have tons of great new stuff like liquid elements and shape elements, liquid transitions and even slideshow creator. Each of these packs have great value and multi-purpose use to make your videos even more interesting to watch. Just visit aejuice.com. All links are in description below. Let's get started! So I am using After Effects CC 2015. This footage you can find in description below. Let's drop footage on this icon here to create new composition. So for this effect you need to shoot your video where nothing is moving except your character. Select your layer and go to Layer, Precompose. Let's call it Tracking and click OK. Then select this pen tool here and outline your character. We are trying to mask out only part in this video which is moving. Then open this tab here, go to mask, right mouse click on this mask, then select mask tracking. Now make sure that your mask doesn't go above your character. Just press pause and adjust these points and continue tracking. When tracking is done, we can go to effect, color correction, curves. And then go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen and select Sharpen and set it to 200. Then go back to our main footage and go to Animation, Track Camera. So as you can see it's analyzing in background. Just scroll down here in Advanced and set to Detail Analysis. As you can see I've tracked this leaf here to have some points in the front of our camera. So now we can just uncheck this inverted mask here and then set mask to None. And close this tab here. Shut off these effects here. And go to main composition. As you can see I've selected this tracking point here around this hand. And go to create, null and camera. Then let's create new layer. Go to layer, new, solid. I call it element 3D and click OK. Then go to effect, video copilot, element. Click on scene setup. And then click on import. And this fence material object will be in description below as well. So select it and click open and then OK. Ta da! Then go to presets, open this tab here, drag our shiny metal material on this mat and click OK. Then go to this tab here and click on create button. Then select our track null 1, press P on keyboard to see our position. And then select this layer above and click on P as well. To see our position. To copy position press Control c on keyboard and then select this layer above, select position and press Control v Then press R on keyboard to see our rotation and just rotate to match scene properly. Then press S on keyboard to scale this down. I set it mine to 15. As you can see tracking went well. You can open your element effect. Then select this fence material, duplicate the model and drag it on top. In this way you can build your fence as big as you want. For this tutorial this works fine as it is. Let's set our marker at the point where we are going through the fence. Then go to project panel and drag our footage on top. Then select our footage here. Then left mouse double click on it. And then select this radar brush tool here and outline our hand. Just go through it frame by frame. And make sure that our outline is not going anywhere. With left mouse click you can just set where your outline is. And holding Alt key on keyboard you can delete unwanted parts. So as you can see from this marker I'm going to delete our arm and left with our hand. And now continue the same process. 
And now where our hand is going out of the fence, we need to delete parts of our hand, just like this. When tracking is done, just click on this button here, called freeze, it will take some time. Now we can make some adjustment to our rotoscoping. To see our rotoscoping better, just click on this icon here, then select our effect and change the feather, I set it to 10. Then check on use motion blur box here. Scroll down this tab and set to 80. Let's go back to our composition. Now we need to pre-compose our layer. Go to layer, pre-compose. Let's call it Rata and click OK. So as you can see, we have now our Rata scoping. Now let's add some distortion to our fence. Go to layer, new, solid. I call it ripple and click OK. Then go to effects and presets and type ripple and drag on our layer here. Then click on this icon here to transform into adjustment layer. And then with this center of ripple, we need to track our hand. So click on this stopwatch here, then skip few frames and just track our hand. Continue this process entire video. Just make sure that center of our ripple is attached to our hand. Let's set our radius to 100, wave speed set to 0, then here width to 100 and height to 55. As you can see with the radius, we can set our area of ripple. Let's set keyframes to our height. So about here, let's set a keyframe. And at the beginning of the video, let's set our height to 25. So it will not distort our fence that much. And at the end, let's set a keyframe and set it to 0. So our distortion will disappear. Then press U to see our keyframes. Then select them and press F9 on keyboard. Close this tab here and let's create new layer. Go to layer, new, solid. We will make chromatic operations. Basically it's distortion of colors. So let's copy this position here. Just press P, then Ctrl C of position and paste into our new layer. Then rotate to same degree. In my case, it's 49 degrees. Then press S on keyboard to see our scale and set it bigger. Let's place it under radoscoping as well as ripple layer. And now set it as adjustment layer. Let's apply tint effect. Go to effect, color correction, tint. Top color set to red, set to blue. Then let's apply emboss effect. Just drag it here. Let's just double click on this ellipse tool here. To create our mask, then press F on the keyboard to change our feather. You can play with the size and feather to adjust how much of the area will be distorted. Then change transfer mode to hard light and continue adjusting if you need. Click on this stopwatch here to create keyframes. Let's set it to 5 and here to 0. So basically we are going to animate our distortion effect. Now let's duplicate this layer. Go to edit, duplicate. Let's call it noise. Delete all these effects. Also set to normal. And then go to effects and presets. Search for curtain. And drag it on top of this layer. Then type transform. And also drag it here. Let's set rotation to minus 90. Then press M on keyboard to delete our mask, change transfer mode to screen and apply motion tile. Let's drag it on top here. Here set it to 300 and 400. Click on this icon here and change scale. Just press S on keyboard to change it. Make size about as big as our fence. Let's change our colors to bluish. So set all of these colors to blue like this. Then let's apply curse effect, effect, color correction, curves. Make this shape here, just to make this effect more subtle. Let's animate our visibility of this layer. Just press T on keyboard, click on this stopwatch, set it to 30. And about here, let's set it to 0. And now let's make our transition. Go to layer, new, solid, and call it transition. Okay, cut this layer to these points. Then search for the optics compensation and drag on this layer here. Let's set the keyframes to our field of view. Just click on the stopwatch. Also check this box here and set really high value like 100. Then move our view center to our fence like this. Here let's set it to 0. And at the end also let's set it to 0.
then delete all of these effects here and copy effects from chromatic aberrations layer. Just select them, press Ctrl C, then select our transition layer here under and press Ctrl V on keyboard to paste it. Then set it to hard light and let's also animate it. Just about here let's set a keyframe. I set it mine to 20, at the beginning let's set it to 0 and at the end let's also set it to 0. You can play with these values to get effect which you need. Now let's add some color correction. Go to layer, new, solid. Then go to effect, color correction, curves. Let's click on this toggle switch here and also on this icon to make it as adjustment layer. In RGB channel let's make this shape, then duplicate this curve effect, click reset and go to green channel. Let's add some green, add red channel just make this shape. Add at the blue channel something like this. Let's duplicate one more time. Click reset and let's add some blue colors and go to RGB channel and make scene a bit darker. So this is our color correction. And don't forget to subscribe to this beautiful lady. As you know, I'm making giveaways in each video from now. Rules are simple. You need to like this video, write any comment in the comment section below and be subscribed to this channel. So now let's find out who will win this time. Last time we got 300 comments and now I'm randomly will pick our winner. Congratulations! You just won! Now you can choose any project from my portfolio. You know the rules? Just comment, like and subscribe to my channel and maybe you will win next time. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.